Welcome back. Back in the kitchen with Chef Ken from the Mustard Seed Cafe. Just the cutest little restaurant that's been around in Green Bay for a while now. Uh, they do, they specialize in, in breakfast and brunch and lunch. That's what they do there, and they do a very nice job. So if you're looking to go something, a uh, place a little bit different with a little bit more upscale food, this would be the place. So earlier we did stuffed French toast, but uh, can you also then, you know, from breakfast transition into wonderful um, soups and, and sandwiches and salads? Right. We're, you know, we're from a scratch house. We make as much as possible from scratch, and we have beautiful salads and unique and uh, uh, creative sandwiches and. Um, uh, and homemade soups. So, um, mm. but uh, yeah, this is one of our, our classic salads. Actually, it's not my classic salad. Uh, you know, everybody knows that the Cobb salad, or maybe you don't know that, but it uh, originated in Los Angeles at the Brown Derby mm -hmm. restaurant mm -hmm. by the manager who was just looking for something to eat, you know, kind of on the order of the uh, Caesar salad from uh, Harry's in Tijuana. But I love those old classic uh, recipes and those ideas and stuff. So, you know, and I always try to add my own little fling to them and, um, yeah, it's uh, funny. The story is that the guy opened up the fridge uh, and it was like, well, this, this, this. So it's one of those salads that really is got a little bit of everything in it, but it works so well uh, together. And it's like, it's not only a lady salad, it's a guy salad. My husband right. loves the salad. It's bacon and turkey and blue cheese uh, uh, and, and, and tomatoes and uh, eggs. And anyway, it's yummy, yummy, yummy. That's so we're right. going to start with the dressing here. The dressing, yeah. So uh, we're going to make a, um, uh, now you can use any dressing you want, but we're going to make a little uh, uh, from scratch balsamic vinaigrette. First. And I, I've been to actually. Actually, they have that brown derby. Uh, they've recreated it at, oh. at Disney in, in Orlando at a restaurant there, and they do a vinaigrette too with it. I mean, classically, it's right. served with a vinaigrette. vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. Quick way to uh, chop garlic, I just smash it like that. <sighs> and then, then you can just chop it like this. Now you don't have to buy the chop yourself in the jar anymore. And you just kind of smash it into a paste. Okay. So you guys make your own homemade salad dressings over there too. Oh yes. And that's what a huge difference that is. I mean, I just think it makes all the difference in the world. Okay, we're gonna put that into the bowl. Okay. I use a little mustard. The mustard's kind of the emulsifier here. Dijon. Yeah. Or any uh, brown style mustard. You can Dijon works well, and that's what that is. Okay. Uh, we're gonna add some Italian style herbs. Uh, I think there's thyme, basil, uh, oregano, kind okay. of a mix. Okay. If we got fresh herbs in season, use those. Right. And then I'm gonna, um, I'm just gonna uh, whisk in my olive oil here. Okay. So if I'm right-handed, so there. <laughs> Making your own salad dressing is so easy. You just gotta get uh, into the habit of doing it. Yeah. Collect a few different vinegars and oils and yeah. All the difference in the world. It costs yeah. pennies to make, and it's very quick and easy. Yeah, basic. You know, a ba basic vinaigrette. You're going to use about uh, one third vinegar to two thirds uh, olive oil. So mm -hmm. that's your formula. And then, any, then if you stick to that formula, you can really add anything to it. You know, so I add a little uh, balsamic vinegar, maybe a little salt and pepper here. You bet. Just some that's pepper. It. Okay, so there's our dressing. Now let's go ahead and start assembling the salad. Right. I see that we, you started with the spring mix lettuce. Is that what you use at the restaurant? That's right. Now, if you like a crunchier lettuce, and sometimes I do mix things up, we'll, you, we cut, sometimes we'll cut our own lettuce and it will add like uh, Napa cabbage and uh, romaine and mm -hmm. you know, if you want a crunchier, mm -hmm. but we do use spring mix at the, at the restaurant. Okay. So, so here, these are some uh, bacon. I, I, I cooked the bacon, chopped it up, or, uh, chopped it up. You can cook it crispier if you want. Let's just put, kind of keep this all in kind of even looking rolls. And that's the key when you, you know, yeah. uh, is it looks very, very pretty. Yeah, this is some diced turkey. Okay. You can use chicken if you want. Great way to use leftover chicken, too. That's right, yeah. These are some chopped Roma tomatoes. I always use Romas I, just because they're the... They taste the best, I think, all year long, yep. except for tomato season. We right. don't know when that is. Right. <laughs> okay. Um, and then we got some, some. Uh, this is mm. Wisconsin blue cheese. Mm. Yeah. If you want to use gorgonzola, you can use that, or any other kind of blue. Go ahead. See how pretty that's starting to shape up. I'm gonna throw a couple of eggs on there just for. Oh yeah, hard-boiled eggs. Yep. 
Is this the portion size at the restaurant? Oh, no, this would be a platter for about four people. Okay, I was going to say, that's this is a, huge. This is a family style pl okay. platter. And this is how we usually eat at home, salads at home. And uh, a lot of times, my family eats a lot of salads. So we'll just make a big salad like this and, you know. Everybody can dig in, help themselves. Right, so, so if you're entertaining guests, for a brunch or something, yeah. Yeah, this would probably be the way to do yeah, it. Yeah, you could do a nice quiche and throw this yeah. in the middle of the table. Now, I um, usually add a little, some ka Kalamata ovens that weren't in the traditional recipe, but mm -hmm. I like to add them because I like olives. I do too. Yeah, we're about at a yeah. time. And then we'll drizzle some of this uh, vinaigrette or serve it yeah. on the side. Yeah. Oh, and guacamole. Oh, yeah. Guacamole, Ooh. right? Another, uh, another uh, couple dabs on there. That looks fantastic, That's it. Ken. Great. If you want to go get a great salad like this or have a wonderful brunch, breakfast or lunch, head to Mustard Seed Cafe. Thanks again, Ken. Great, thank you. We'll be back.